Hi guys, this is a tutorial for Helena by My Chemical Romance, or I, I've never really said it out loud, I wonder how everyone else pronounces it. Helena? Helena? <laughs> Whatever, that song, you know what I'm talking about. Um, by My Chemical Romance. As usual, everything that you need is down in the description box, so please go and check that out. There will be a full run through of the song at the end. And let me just say that obviously this song isn't massively suited to piano, so what I'm giving you is the tools to play it kind of however you want. Um, if you don't like the quicker sort of version of it, that's cool. Do like a chilled out, like mellow, like slowed down version. <laughs> um, that's absolutely fine. The chords will be exactly the same. It's really up to you how you play this. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So to begin with, first of all, let me say this one's pretty simple so I think you're gonna be okay so to begin with what we want is a C sharp minor chord okay so this is middle C here obviously it doesn't matter what octave you play it on it's up to you this is where I think it sounds good if you don't have a piano this big play it wherever you got room baby so <laughs> first of all we want a C sharp minor so that is C sharp E and G sharp in our right hand and in our left hand it's just C sharp and G sharp okay so long ago just like the hearse so go up to an E so that is E G sharp and a B with an E and a B in the left hand hearse you die so on died, which is lovely, we want a B chord. So that's B, D sharp, and F sharp, with a B and an F sharp in our left hand. Died to get in. Then we're going to a G sharp with a C, okay? So that is G sharp, C, and D sharp in our right hand, and in our left hand, a C, just a C. So, get in again. Then we're going to an A. So that is A, C sharp, and E, with an A and an E in our left. Okay, so that first line like this. Long ago, C sharp minor, E, just like the hearse you B, died to. G sharp with that C, get in again, A, then we go back to the C sharp minor, okay, we are so, and then up to a B, far from you, so that first part should sound like this, long ago, just like the hearse you died to get in. Now, into the verse. Now, let me just say, uh, that's pretty much all of the chords that you're gonna need apart from a C. Um, so, it's, yeah, it, it, if you can get those ones down, you'll be absolutely fine. So, into the verse. We I wanna take the bigger chords for this because it's kind of a chunkier sound, so. Burning on. So we take this C sharp minor up here instead of this one. I take two C sharps in our left hand, okay? So, burning on, just like a match. Down to an E, with just one E underneath, okay? Because I'm saving that lower E for the chorus, okay? You strike up to a B, with two Bs in the left hand, or you can just take one B, it's up to you. To incinerate A with two A's in the left hand. The lives, the lot on the lives, we want a C sharp minor. The lives of every B, one you knew. Oh, I forgot about the A flat chord, as, uh, A flat minor chord as well. So then we're going to the A flat minor. And what's the worst? How about? 
I'll play those two first lines for you, first of all, so. Burning on E, match B, try to in A, C sharp minor, the lives B, one you knew. Sorry for nearly going down there. Okay, so. Then for the next two lines, so we want A flat minor. So that is an A flat, a B, and an E flat with an A flat and an no, with two A flats in the left hand. Right. <laughs> and what's the worst to take A from every C sharp minor? Hard U B break. And just repeat that. So A flat minor, like a blade, you stain A. And then C sharp minor, I've been holding B on tonight. What's the worst thing I could say? So, <laughs> sorry, I've got a bit passionate. Uh, so on that last bit, we go to the E with these these two E's, okay? So that part all together should sound like this. We keep that E. Worst thing I could say. Up to a B. Things are better if I stay. So up to that G sharp with two C's underneath. Better if I stay. Up to a C sharp minor. So long and good night. So we go down to a regular C chord, okay? So that's C, E. And G with two C's in the left hand, and then we go to an E. Okay, so the chorus should sound like this. What's the worst thing I could say? Things are better if I say so long and good night. So long and good night. Came a time. So we're going back into another verse and it is exactly the same as the first verse. So I'm just going to play it through for you. Came a time when every starfall brought to you tears again. We are the very hurt you saw. And what's the worst to Exactly the same, but twice through. What's the worst thing I could say? Things are better if I stay. So long and good night. So long and good night. And if I carry on this way, things are better if I stay. So long and good night. So This part it is C sharp minor, A, E, and B, and you just repeat that four times. Okay, so. That's that part. 
super simple. Back into the chorus, again, exactly the same, twice through. What's the worst thing I could say? Things are better if I stay. So long and good night. So long and good night. Well, if you carry on this way, things are better if I stay. So long and good night. So long and good night. And we just end on an E. So that is it. Like I said at the beginning, everything you need is down in the description box. So go and check that out. It should be some help to you. If you need any extra help, please feel free to message me. All the various ways are down in the description box. Uh, apart from that, if you enjoyed this and you're not subscribed, can you please subscribe? I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, there's a full run through of the song at the end if you're interested in that and you think it would be helpful. Apart from that, I hope that you guys are well and that you enjoyed this. And I will speak to you all very, very soon. Mwah. Bye. Love.